Hello, my name is Marcellus Thomas, and I will be explaining pressure versus rate of flow. Now, the simplest way I know how to describe this would be using the Superman parable. In the show, The Boys, a homelander says he cannot lift the plane because there's nothing for him to log on to. In addition to that, that he would just punch through the engine, through the plane, which he's right because all that power and force going in one way would just poke a hole into something. Um, like this bottle, for example. Uh, but we're not going to poke a hole in this spot thing. I'm just going to show you guys me poking it hard at one angle. Yep, there we go. There you go. Now, Superman is a completely different um, category altogether because Superman has something called tactile kinesis. Now, when Superman reaches out to touch something, the reason he can lift a plane is because when he touches it, he create, he de equally distributes the force of his lift. That's why he's able to lift uh, cargo uh, boats and the such. Because if he didn't, he'd just simply go through it. Because that is what the difference between pressure and rate of flow. If the rate of flow is too high and the pressure too great, it's going to take the passive leap for assistance and go right through it. But, like Superman, if you have tactile kinesis or simply just lower the rate of flow just a little bit, you can actually push the bottle or lift the plane, if you will. That's my analogy. Because by slowing down the rate of flow, we're allowing pressure to build in those tough-to-move areas. And when we allow that to happen, we allow the pressure to be distributed out more evenly and we can massage the vein vascular area and allow it to properly coat and go through our veins. That is all. I believe I've explained it the best way I know how and I wish you all a pleasant day.